How's that? How is everybody? Good, I hope. Um, I'm in trouble, if I'm really honest. I'm in trouble. I can't stop taking painkillers. I can't. I can't. I fucking love them. I love them and they... they yeah. <laughs> there's a, there, I think there's a very good reason why people get addicted to them. It's very obvious, actually. It's because they make all the pain go away. They make all the pain go away. Within about 30 minutes of taking two tablets, um, the pain of being weak-willed, cowardly, ugly, emotionally scarred, physically frail, needy, untrustworthy, and untrusting disappear instantly. In fact, I'm virtually certain with a steady supply of methamphetamines, hash yogurts, and painkillers, I could kick this drinking problem once and for all. <laughs> certain of it. God damn it. Been here, been here for a while now, but, uh, two years been in England. Uh, London really, I like, I like London, I like London a lot of what London has to offer entices and terrifies me, if I'm brutally honest. The things, the things that really intrigue me is stuff like the, the rush hour crush in the metro every morning. I don't know how many commuters there are here, but the rush hour crush, anyone that... If you've never read a rush hour crush, your quintessential one is uh, to the beautiful blonde haired girl who got on uh, at 6.53 in Vauxhall last Wednesday morning, our eyes met, you looked away, I smiled, you blushed, you got off before I could ask for your number. Dinner sometime? <laughs> what sort of psychos is this producing in this fucking country? I'm gonna write in my own one and see if it get published. To the, to the stunning brunette I chased home from Pimlico the other night. <laughs> did, you, did you choose the wallpaper in your bedroom yourself? <laughs> Fucking unbelievable! And to know you're never going to be anyone fucking rush hour crush, you're never going to read to the weird looking fella who got on at Clapham Junction last Thursday morning. I, I, as soon as I saw you, I naturally started to ooze sympathy and pity. I, I assumed you were homeless. Can I buy you a roll sometime? You're never going to be, I try so hard, I swear to fuck, I try so hard to be rush hour crushes, I try so hard. You want to get on in the morning and it's fucking jammers, I have to get on at two jeans every time the train comes, it's fucking jammers. So I try and get on and just muscle by and whenever I'm, you know, I always, I always try and ex exhale loudly, it was referenced here, exhale loudly through my... So it brushes through the hair of the beautiful girl standing in front of me. <laughs> just so she knows what a deep thinker is standing behind her. <laughs> and then when, it, when the rush clears up and we end up sitting across from each other, I just silently mouth the words, You've just been rush hour crushed. <laughs> Amazing success rate for that. Amazing success rate. It's unbelievable. But it's hard, you know, it's hard. London's interesting, interesting place. Is that, you know, I don't know what, the, there's a lot of racism in Dublin City Centre. Um, I'm not sure what it's like over here, but I think it's better to, uh, you know, you know, colorblind groups, everyone. You know, I really like that about London, but in Dublin, it's fucking, you know, when I was growing up, I could stand at the top of O'Connell Street and look down and see nothing but white Irish Catholics, and now it's fucking changed. So I really try and change myself whenever I'm walking by a black dude in Dublin City Centre Street. I'm really trying to master my welcome to the country. I'm not a fucking filthy racist face. Um, <laughs> it goes a little like this for a black guy in Dublin City Centre Street, you know? <laughs> So virtually all minorities in Dublin just assume I'm some raging homosexual. <laughs> Gay guy always... He never smiles at white people though. I wonder why that is. I've got... Oh, God. I know it's a typical fucking comedian, but I'm recently single. Oh, I've got more desperate as time goes on, you know. I've even become desperate and picky and choosy with the pornography I watch now because I'm fucking single, so I have to kill my time somehow. And, Stealing that myself somehow, and it's it's just I, I don't know. I took a young college sort of love, you know, on there. That's unrealistic. Um, <laughs> so the ones I agree on generally are, you know, titles like, you know, "Come Guzzling Whore," "Loves to Be Fucked Hard and Long," and I think that'll do. It'll click. It still doesn't feel right inside, but it'll click, and then it, it develops, and and uh, but it's still it's still unrealistic and fucking unattainable. Unless, um, in the room tonight, we have any... <laughs> come, 
Because, I mean, whores? Who like to be fucked long and hard? I can't guarantee y'all fuck you long and hard, but I'll certainly fuck you tenderly and temporarily. <laughs> anyway, if there's any takers, I'll be loitering by the handicapped bathrooms for about 20 minutes after the show. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, Brighton. You've been fantastic. I love you.